property owners in Brazos County now have three new voices at the appraisal district. Those newly elected roles were created by law and officially joined the district this morning. Julia Lewis breaks down what this means for Brazos County. Thursday morning, two of the three new elected members of the appraisal district's board of directors were sworn in. Jane Sherman and Rafael Pena now help manage the district's hires in a bid for more accountability. Three more members, elected members, that represent the community on the board to make sure that the appraisals of properties are fair and equitable for everyone. Jane Sherman says she hopes to be a voice for residents in the community. I feel that our community needs more transparency to see how our property values are set and then how it's taxed so that we can go to the right entity to protest or to voice our opinions. The appraisal district board will now have nine members, a third of them directly accountable to the public. It's really important um, for participation of the community in, in, in boards like this because it does allow for us to have more access to the things that affect our daily lives. And New member Rafael Pena says for him, it's important to see the inner workings of the appraisal office. He hopes to educate community members. The appraisal district, you know, a lot of people protest their taxes. I'm no, I'm no different. I protest my taxes every year. And I think or what kind of stood out to me for this position is, you know, we get to appoint the members of the ARB board review and the county gets to present their case. And I think there's a healthy medium that happens between that board. And Brian, Julia Lewis, News 3. New member Jonah Shriver was not present at today's meeting. The board of directors also includes the tax assessor, collector, and five appointed members. And the elected members will serve for four years.